Hello and welcome to a cool smartphone video. Today we have a Xperia Z3 um, next to an Xperia Z5. Now the reason why we have these two devices side by side with each other today is because we're going to look at the differences between the Z3 which is running Android 6.0 concept software and the Z5 which is running Android 5.12 stock software. So first of all the big difference that I want to try and point out is the relative brightness on these displays. So at the moment they're both ramped up to max brightness. If I now turn the brightness down, I'm going to turn that down to pretty much around about 10 percent and then I do the same on the Z5, you can see that straight away there is a remarkable difference in the brightness settings. You can hardly make out the screen on the Z5. Now this doesn't make any difference if I put it in more light or not. Now I can only presume that this is a feature of Android 6 and it's, there's not that much difference in the screen technology. If there is some difference in the screen technology then um, Android 6 will not make any difference on the Z5 which is a bit of a shame um, as the Z3 does seem to be such a much more bright and vivid screen. So that is the initial impressions of the screens. Now a couple of other differences we've got here. If I press and hold on this screen and I press and hold on the Z3 you'll notice at the bottom that we we have widgets, wallpapers, themes, home settings whereas on this one we've got widgets, wallpapers and settings. Now if I go into settings on both devices there's a massive difference in what we can do here. So we do have the ability on the Z5 of having icons small size or large size, um, applications show names in docs and application screen icons. Uh, what this means is it will allow you to put an application straight onto the home screen just by touching and holding the icon. Whereas on the Z3 we have a lot more things to actually deal with here. So let's go into it. We've got our classic screen layout, but we've also now got the addition of the modern screen layout. We'll just move the Z5 off to the side here. We're just going to zoom in on that slightly. So you can see here you've got classic and then you've got modern. Now the differences here are if we go to modern and click apply, you'll now notice that the app drawer button has been replaced with a search widget and if I now scroll I have every single icon for every single app that I've downloaded whereas if I go back and I change that back to classic this will give me the traditional Android style home screen that we're all familiar with so this is a big change for Sony. Sony have never done this before um, and in a way I'm quite glad to see it because it is bringing um, that comfort level of iPhone users uh, who have all their icons um, on the home screen uh, to Sony devices and it will lessen the learning gap. So moving on we've got icon size we can change that. Icon appearance so we can now theme the icons okay? and I can only presume that this is now a new replacement for themes um, if I go to framed and apply and we just jump out of that you'll see now that all the icons are in this kind of framed sort of thing uh, they've all got like a little circle going on uh, you still get the folders acting in the same way and that is um, extend through to the app drawer as well. 
Now, personally, I'm not a huge fan. I, I'm a bit of a traditional, uh, traditionalist. Sorry, I, I prefer my traditional icons. Names in dock, uh, that's already there. And then you've got uh, keyboard and search apps, which I'll come back to. Application screen icons, which is the same as on the Z5. This is new though, pain transition. So you've now got the ability to actually transition between your panes using various different animations. This is something we have seen before, but we'd never seen this on an Xperia device. So let's pop it on windmill there and swipe across and you can see it's kind of going around like the blades on a windmill which is new and I have to say it, it's okay I, I again prefer the flat but it's there it's nice um, and then the keyboard and search apps so this is really designed for when you are using the um, modern theme. However, something I noticed by accident earlier, if I place my finger just below the Google search bar here and drag down, I actually get the ability to search my applications from my home screen. So I can type in whatever I want here. So BBC, and it will bring up anything that has B in it. Okay, and you can even do voice search from here. Again, this is a really nice touch, um, and you've got a Google Play search facility there as well. Really, really nice touch, and it's something that is absent from the Z5. Sorry, just get that unlocked. So this is absent from the Z5. There is no way to do a quick search. The only way you can really do a search on the Z5 is you actually have to go into your app drawer. Now on the Z3, if we come back to the Z3, you can still see that you've got that search functionality in the app drawer there. So it is still there, however on the Z5 it's a little bit harder to get to. Okay, So those are some of the big differences. Um, there is also a difference in the notification areas. Um, this is Android 6 pure, whereas this is um, Sony's custom version. Up here you'll notice that there is a edit option. There is no edit option on this. Another big difference I have noticed, even though this device does not have the ability for stamina mode, if I just bring these down so you can see that. So you've got your stamina mode icon there, and you've got your edit icon just there. Um, whereas the Z3 does not have that ability, because they've not added it yet. The battery life on this device is fairly good going. Now I have been hammering this device since I took it off charge around about 6pm. It's uh, as you can see, it's quarter to 11 as I'm recording this. Now my screen on time is 3 hours, 18 minutes and 42 seconds. Now the screen on time I was getting on my Z5, if I had had it on for that long, my battery would have been pretty much annihilated. We go into the battery usage and we look at the screen on time. You can see for 11% drain I've only had uh, 20 minutes of screen on time so you can see there's a, there is a big difference there now this is in part due to Doze which is now built into Android 6 move these back up so you can see them Doze is now built in function to Android 6.0 and uh, it's only going to get better once stamina mode is added in so it's not all about new things for this, the concept software, quite a lot of the features that were present in uh, the stock ROM for the Nexus 5 sorry not Nexus 5, Xperia Z5, sorry my mistake there, slip of the tongue um, are now available um, 
or will be available on Android 6 as well. So it's kind of building on that. One thing I do want to show you is a big feature that Google have brought. So if I just go into Twitter here and that article from Android Authority, if I press now on tap, pressing and holding my home button will actually allow me to bring up now on tap. Now say for example I wanted to find out more about Microsoft, I can now hit Google and it will go straight in there. Now this becomes even more useful when um, I was in the story. So I'm going to go into this story about Cortana, uh, which is now coming to Android devices um, in the States at the moment, but it will be coming to the UK soon. So check out the story I've written on CoolSmartphone.com. If we now go in here and we now press now on tap, you'll see that it's going to bring up stuff about Cortana, some news, some images, things like that. Now, this now on tap stuff, this will get better the more we use it. Okay? Um, I'm really, really glad to see that it's been built in here. And I can only hope that Sony leave it as it is and don't mess around with it too much. Um, I don't see any reason why they would, to be honest with you. So um, you do have that ability built in straight out of the box. Um, folders, very, very similar to how they used to be. That's not really changed. Um, something else you will see um, when the Sony devices start to run Android 6 is the ability for uh, devices to do this. So Android 6 asks you a lot about permission. So permission of apps to use certain things. So allow music, music to control uh, music playback. Yes, of course I want that. But it will ask you for these permissions. Now this is a one-time thing. It's not something to be worried about. Uh, they it's just making you more aware of what your phone is doing. Um, and to be honest, that's, that's pretty much about it. Oh, there is one more thing I want to show you actually, and that is the notifications. So you have your usual notifications. However, you can always you can actually change them easily when it lets me. However, it doesn't seem to want to do that. Now, Android 6 does allow you to manage your notifications a lot better. You do have the Do Not Disturb ability built in. Um, it's not something I ever find myself using, to be honest with you. Um, I'm a bit old school with this. If I don't want my phone to disturb me, I put it in flight mode. Um, you've got more control over your individual apps and your power management. So if we go into battery again, and then we're going to go into Amazon, and you can see stop or uninstall the app. Um, if I go back up here, battery optimization, this will um, actually allow me to dig into those a little bit more and see what isn't optimized. So Google Play Services is not optimized because it's not available. If I go into all apps, it's optimizing all my apps at the moment. Hence why I'm getting such stellar battery life. Okay, so that is a, um, a very, very brief overview of the differences on the Sony Android concept for Android 6.0. There is a full article going up on CoolSmartphone.com to accompany this video and I would encourage you to have a look at it. I'm going to be hopefully keeping this device for a little bit longer so I'll be able to do some more testing. Um, I am feeding back to Sony uh, via this beta feedback app and they do put up surveys and things like that every now and again. So hopefully this will continue to improve. 
One of the things we have asked for as beta testers is that the camera UI is updated to work in a similar manner as the Z5 camera UI and actually allow you to have the full resolution of the sensor in superior auto mode. So um, hopefully we'll get that and I will do a follow up on this video when we get closer to the final release. Thanks very much um, for watching this video at coolsmartphone.com. If you want to subscribe, please do so at the links over there and you can put comments down below and also like and unlike us if you deem so fit. Cheers, bye.